Well, welcome to the North Country. Western New York in the, quote, spring of 2021. Yeah, mid-April. Every time we think we're out of it. Last couple of weeks, we were cutting the lawn. It was looking pretty good. The temperatures weren't amazing, but they were rising. And I couldn't believe when I did the weather forecast on Saturday at WLBL in Lockport. 14.30 a.m., 105.3 FM, streaming worldwide at WLBL.com. But uh, I could not believe it said snow for Wednesday. And last night my goyles were saying, nah, there won't be any snow and this is what we woke up to. Yeah. North Country. So yeah, spring in Western New York. Isn't it beautiful? Just lovely. So to celebrate the spring, and uh, and all of you, my uh, dedicated, loyal viewers, we are creeping up to 100 subscribers. We're almost there. Um, so thank you. Those of you who are here, who have recently joined us, thank you. So glad to have you and have you be here. Thank you to those of you who have been with me from the beginning. Uh, a few of you, I think all the way back to years ago from you know the channel for uh, Greg Juke and the Mighty No Stars and then when I restarted this whole thing a year ago uh, back in March uh, some of you have been with me the whole time so thank you so much uh, in honor of that and as a uh, uh, another little gift to you this is a Jukes Joint special and uh, today's special is going to focus on some of the artists that I have recorded with. So there'll be some links to um, some different videos uh, down there in the description box. And also, I will also uh, put up a playlist, I already have actually, of um, some of these tracks from other artists and a few uh, from my album. So you guys can hear some of the... Uh, commercial recordings that are available with Greg Juke on them uh, from some different artists. So I'll, I'll give you a few little um, clips or snippets in this video and talk you through them and then the links will be below as well as a playlist under the playlist tab on this channel. So I hope you enjoy the tunes and uh, thanks again for uh, being here, being part of this channel and uh, what I'm trying to do and uh, who we are trying to reach. So thanks a lot. Have a great day, and I hope it's warm and not snowy where you are. All right, we're going to take a look at a very limited discography today. Most of the things that I've done have been indie projects, limited release. Uh, lots of it now is out of print and unavailable, never made it to the Internet, you know, digital, that sort of thing. I only did one thing on vinyl. And uh, maybe we'll talk about that another day, maybe on an uh, episode of Vinyl from the Cave or something. And someday I'll show off a bunch of the records I'm on. But uh, most of this stuff that I'm going to show you is still available in one way or the other. Uh, either CD Baby, Amazon, DistroKid, uh, Bandcamp, um, artist websites, or just on YouTube like we're going to take a look at today. Okay, first off we have the Dooley's. Uh, a fluctuating group. They started out as a duo, uh, grew in size to a trio quartet. They've gone back and forth several times. They are still a band. Um, they uh, put out several independent releases, and I have been on, I think, four of them, including this Best Of that you see here, and uh, a couple other compilations, and one tune that I did with Bruce Rounds that wound up on a Dooley's record, and the original recording they made with them uh, for the album uh, God Bless America, it's called Crazy World, Beautiful World. It's a real nice tune, and I played all kinds of percussion on this. I played conga. I can't remember if I played the bass drum part or not, but I played, uh, uh, you know, shakers, uh, tambourine, 
uh, uh, talking drum, all kinds of stuff. So listen in the background for some of those things because it's a pretty fun tune, and I got to put all that on. Some people call me an idealist Well, I guess that's probably true Cause baby, if I was a realist Then I guess I'd think like you You see, that war is inevitable It's always been and will always be to that statement I take offense and strongly disagree We got 50,000 nuclear weapons So what are we fighting for? The days of foot soldiers have long since passed And so's the idea of war It's a crazy world Some people tell me that I'm crazy I got no reason and no rhyme They tell us son, when it comes to politics Man, you're 20 years behind the times I also played percussion on Jack Brabilski's first record, uh, Soho Strut. I did a number of things on a number of tracks. Some of them aren't there anymore. The record was remixed in the uh, mid-2000s, and uh, they wound up stripping some tracks. Uh, I put Rainstick on one tune. This is a funny story. Put Rainstick on one tune, and they didn't know what to name it. And I said, how about Rainmaker? They said, that's great. And they named the tune Rainmaker, and then later took out the Rainstick. Those are the realities of the studio. Um, but it's a nice record. Uh, one of the things that I was featured on is a tune called Carnival. I can't link to that anymore because that video is no longer on YouTube. So here's just a little taste of one of Jack's tunes uh, from Soho Strut called Time Lock. I was on this one, but I'm not going to be on the version that you hear. Uh, cool thing about the record, it also included uh, players from Spyro Gyra. Rick Strauss did the original sessions on guitar. And uh, also a couple of the guys from RPM, the Fidelity Brothers. So it was fun to make and it was nice getting to know those guys. Jeff Jarvis was the producer, and it was a cool project. Later, it was uh, reproduced and remixed and had a bunch of other tracks added to it by Glenn Bernardis. Next up, we have Leah Zakari from her album Hard Road. She's a very special singer, songwriter, and guitar player. And I got to play some percussion tracks on this record. Uh, very special to me for one big reason. I got to play along with Tony Levin. So I can say I'm on a record with Tony Levin from Paul Simon and Peter Gabriel and King Crimson and uh, Chuck Manjone and all those great things that he did. Uh, I am now part of his discography. Uh, of course, we never met. Uh, I did an overdub later, but I, it is a little bit of a bragging right, so uh, it's a cool track, great tune, 
and I played conga on this. Why do you care what I feel? Why do you care what I need? Why do you care if I broke up with a lover? Why do you care if it's so? How does it help you to know what's going on with me one way or another? What you really need is your own philosophy. What you really need is your own identity. This is former Buffalonian and now Boston-based singer-songwriter Mark Lenke from his second album, Pay to Play. I got to do a lot on this record. I played all the drums on the CD, uh, did some background vocals, percussion, a bunch of different things. And it's a really, really good record by a really good songwriter with lots of great tunes. And the arrangements wound up being really cool. And this is one of the highlights. This track has a feel very similar to, I don't know, Squeeze, Tempted. Uh, that's what the producer was going for. So I'm really proud of the drums because he was asking for that netherworld between straight backbeat and, and shuffle. And I think I kind of nailed it. And also the drums sound really good. This is guitarist, songwriter, singer, producer, engineer, uh, former associate partner of mine, former guitarist for Greg Juke and the Mighty No Stars, Bruce Rounds. He's gone country, look at them boots, um, but uh, a really good singer, songwriter, and um, this is one of the tracks that was going to be on the next Mighty No Stars album, and there's been such a delay in between the two. I'm on the 10 years minimum between each record plan, and uh, Bruce wound up using it on his most recent release, and that's okay. Um, but it's a good tune. I played organ on this. 
I played keyboard. I think I have a pretty convincing B3 sound for a drummer. So I uh, dig the organ on <laughs> this tune uh, and hope you enjoy. Here's a quick little audio montage of some tunes from my solo record, Greg Juke and the Mighty No Stars Blues Power. It was a certified international radio hit. So it was played all over the world. Um, I'm pretty proud of that. And it did chart on several of the blues charts, which is pretty cool. It was knocked off the charts by Steve Winwood and his blues record that came out that year. So that's pretty cool. And I feel pretty good about that, even though I am not rich nor really famous I do not live in Hollywood, nor do I have an in-ground pool. Nonetheless, uh, it was fun to do, and this is really my baby. I produced, arranged, wrote most of the tunes, arranged the covers, uh, played drums, sang, uh, blues harp, uh, keyboards, and did a number of other things on it. So um, I really enjoyed doing it, and I'm hoping to do another. I have one in the can that's ready to be released, uh, but we're waiting on the right time. So uh, that's some of the recordings that I've been involved with. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe we'll get to some more in the future on a future episode. Thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being part of the channel. And thank you for being among the first 100 subscribers. Says, stick by me, I'll be your 
guiding hand Don't ask him what he thinks of you You might not get the answer That you wanted to Count the cost in this game. 